Hi everyone, my name is Lucy and I'm a third year at the University of York and I'm studying Italian and Spanish. At the moment I'm currently on my year abroad and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how I've been making friends and managing my mental health while I've been away. I'm sure a lot of you that are watching this are either planning for or considering you abroad and I just want to settle your minds a little bit with regards to making friends and feeling lonely while you're away from all your family and friends at home. My first top tip would be that some of the universities, if that's what you choose to do on your year abroad, don't necessarily have societies like you do at York but they do often have Erasmus days where all the international students can get together and make friends and you might be able to make friends with people that are not just from the UK but I've made a lot of friends from Italy, from um, the United States, from France, everywhere um, and I just think that's a really good way to make friends when you don't really have to do that much, you don't have to push yourself out of your comfort zone too much in that specific day because it's organised for you. But I would also say, secondly, it's very important to make sure you push yourself a little bit in the classes to maybe, I I'm personally am there studying in a Spanish school, so I'm speaking the language and I'm making friends with Spanish students. And I think it's just really important just to push yourself that little bit when you're in classes to, you know, ask someone if you can have their contact details or ask someone if they have any recommendations, maybe that they're their favourite restaurant or their favourite bar that they go to. And it's just little steps like this that are really easy to do. And I'm sure people will be more than happy to talk to you about them. That, In my experience, I've found that so many people want to tell you where the best places to go are or even take you there. And you never know, you might become really good friends. Because I'm doing both Italian and Spanish, I split the year abroad in half, where I do half of it in Spain, half of it in Italy. And I've actually found that I've made a friend who lives in Italy, and now I have a contact for when I'm there. So I just think it's not something you should be stressing about. And you, you might even have some people that come with you from the University of York. I've had three other students come with me, and it's been so wonderful to have that support system. But it's also been so nice to be able to reach out and make friends from the country that you're visiting. With regards to managing your mental health and trying not to feel too lonely, because I know personally I miss my family a lot when I'm away, I think it's just reminding yourself that, you know, FaceTime isn't exactly the same, but it's pretty close to being able to be in the same room as them. And just making sure you FaceTime them whenever you feel a bit low, or I personally found Netflix party has been really fun to make it feel like I'm, you know, watching Netflix with my mum or with my best friend from home. And it's just a really nice way to keep in contact. My other piece of advice would be to find something that you would usually do in your daily routine or your weekly routine at home or at York and make sure you implement that into your routine while you're away. So I personally really enjoy going to the gym and I also really like exploring new cafes. So I've made sure while I've been away that I haven't stopped doing that. I've continued to find a gym that I like and it just settles your mind a little bit. If you're a bit overwhelmed, a bit stressed, it just feels like, you know what? I might be in a different country, but I can still keep this one thing the same and it's a lot less stressful. And as well as there's something like going to a cafe visiting you know a new place it's just something exciting always make sure you have something to look forward to and i just think that's the best piece of advice i can give and lastly i would say bring a kettle or buy a kettle because nothing can be as comforting as a cup of tea in my opinion thank you so much for watching and i hope i've managed to help you put your mind at ease a little bit and get more excited for your year abroad